the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, basically I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install. PlayStation 2 retail games onto your modded PlayStation 4. Um, this method that I am showing you today is the easiest method. Um, from the previous video, I showed you on how to install dev builds and unreleased games. And that method does take long and basically you have to make your content ID manually. You also have to basically make the P FPKG file, excuse me, basically from the ground up. And it does take some time. Um, this method, what I'm showing you, is basically a GUI method, and all that uh process is working in the background. So it basically, you, all you got to do is just take your ISO, open up the EXE file, and it does all the work for you. And I'll show you that today. So in the description below, you should have uh one file, and it'll be a ps2.classic.zip. I've already extracted it. So what you would get once you extract it, um, you also need WinRAR too, by the way, or WinZip or whatever, or anything to basically extract these files out to the PC. And I also have that in the description. But once you have that on your desktop, go ahead, and now you should have two files or two programs, excuse me, and basically you have one folder. What you want to do now is go ahead in the folder. Go ahead and open up PlayStation 4 PS2 Classics. And then what you want to do is go ahead and open up this EXE, PS4 PS2 Classics GUI EXE. And now what you want to do is go ahead and you can open it up full screen. And now what you want to do is go ahead and find your ISO. In today's test, I'm basically going to be using Need for Speed. Go ahead and click open. It works on any PlayStation 2 ISO as long as it's you know a retail one. Um, and now what you want to do as you see here you have your ps2 id and now you could literally name the uh mp title id these five digits to something different in my case i'll just put a nine um but it's pretty cool that this program also finds the playstation 2 content id if your game's a retail game it should automatically find it um if it's like a dev build or something or unreleased game maybe that game may not have a ps2 content id for the most part all like you know the 5,000 PlayStation 2 games that are out there have content IDs. Uh, but now, uh, with that being said, once you got all that out the way, you you know you put your MP title ID in. You go ahead and you can name your game, and this is basically the title of what the game is going to show up on your PlayStation 4. So in this case, I'm going to name mine as Need for Speed. I'm spelling this all wrong. Need for Speed Underground 2. And I'm just going to put demo test and then all you have to do is go ahead and make sure wherever you want the package to go if you wanted to go straight up to your USB you can find that I don't have mine plugged in at the moment so I'm just going to put mine on my desktop and now what is it's doing is basically creating the param.sfo creating all the files that normally you would have to manually do yourself it's just doing that now and as you see, it may take a little while for it to move the ISO. Um, if it's on the desktop, it shouldn't take too long. This game wasn't too big, so it varies in time and size. So right now, it's creating the PS4 PKG file, as you see. And now if I go back out to you know my main screen, you can see the PKG file right here. This is the one that it's building. So it may take a little while in this case, um, let it do its thing. But for, uh, you know, the purpose of, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to convert fast enough. So basically once it converts, right? Oh, it popped it up for me here. I'll just show it here. This is basically a game and you could tell that by the size of it, cause it was zero megabytes before that now it's 317 megabytes so basically that's how you run or that's how basically it converts the game so it's a pretty quick process but all you would have to do is take your USB flash drive now once that process is done that is either formatted from XFAT or FAT32 and once I put my USB in I'll show you real quick so for example this is my USB drive if I go to uh, properties real quick and this one is on NTFS but I'm not going to change it because I use this uh, USB drive for uh, you know my video stuff. But for example, 
I'll show you right now if I were to want to format this go ahead and hit format go here to file system um if yours don't say fat32 it should give you an option but in this case mine will be x fat all what I have to do is hit that and then click start and also have quick format also it's a good idea that um before you even do the quick format go ahead and back up your data from that USB drive because when you quick format on the PC it basically wipes that drive clean so for the it to basically um you know get into that file system so once it transfer or converts over to xfat or nt or ntfs anytime that's just generally how it works on pcs but with that being said you could go ahead and copy your pkg over i already have this pkg already copied over to another usb so i'm not going to do this on this usb but once you have it copied over your game go ahead and to your playstation 4 and i'll meet you there and i'll show you the steps on basically how to install it using debug settings and then we're going to try to get the game to run all right guys so when you basically on your playstation 4 you want to go ahead and open up your internet web browser and then basically type in this website to boot up x project and then the first thing you want to do is of course go ahead and look at the link on the url right there so http semicolon slash slash playstation dev dot wiki slash x slash index dot html go ahead and type that in then once it boots up onto your screen, go ahead and hit L1 to run ahead in 1.8. In this case, I'm not going to do that since I've already um did that previously in the video. But now what you want to do is go ahead and go into debug settings, game, package installer, and then go ahead and install whatever um game you have or your PS2 game, for example. This is my PS2 game and I've already installed it onto my system so I don't want to go ahead and redo that and waste any time in the video um this was the game right here but when I tested it not too long ago um it didn't boot up but let's say if you was using a retail game for example any of these games I have do or do work so for example I will boot up let's see I don't know I mean I club 3 dub edition remix just for this tutorial purpose Let's say if you had the Midnight Club 3 Double Edition ISO and you dumped it from somewhere or you got it offline, you go ahead and use the GUI, um, you go ahead and boot up the web browser, you go to the website, install the package, your game should boot up fine. And as you see here, um, that's Midnight Club. Um, this is all in real time and y'all guys could tell because Midnight Club 3, of course, never released for the PlayStation 4. It was a PS2 uh, or PS3, PS2 classic back on like the PlayStation 3 and the PSN store. But I could try another game. Let's see what game that's not on the PlayStation 4. Oh, NBA Street. And I'll try to boot that up right now for y'all guys to do. So both methods work if, either if you want to do it like the long manual way. But if you just want to, you know, run PlayStation 2 games, uh, the fast method, uh, this is the way to go And for, you know, beginners or you just want to test the game to see if it works before, you know, installing like, you know, the whole process over again. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys.